wait what are we are we recording a video right now oh what's oh dude i didn't i didn't want to do that i just my computer accidentally dude it opened up a new subreddit it sorted it to top posts of all time and then my recording software just booted up and started recording on me i guess i'm making a youtube video now on on the oops didn't mean to subreddit uh, which is full of things that people didn't mean to do. It's so topical that this is all accidentally happening to me right now. That was the world's worst wink. We'll start off with the 19th most accidental thing someone definitely didn't mean to do ever with making 3D models of unconscious, oh, demonetized for fun. I love the peak demonetized. Oh yes, I just noticed. I didn't even notice that before in the render that probably took me at least like 20 minutes to produce while my computer sat there and just rendered every pixel. But I didn't realize, dude, I was just, I'm very observant of you. I didn't even put that there, dude. Maya has this new feature where it just, it recognizes that you're trying to make a human and it's just like, oh, I'll texture that for you and UV map it and model it and everything. And it just, I didn't even realize. I would know. I have experience with Minecraft music videos, so it makes me an expert. Just sarcasm. I just want to ensure Maya doesn't do that. You have to you do everything yourself. Just trolling, BT dubs. Wish I had some real friends. Wish I was your friend. Yikes. I'm trolling by the way, that wasn't wasn't serious. When when someone posts a message like that on Twitter, I don't know what sort of responses they're looking to get. You're definitely you're fishing for these sorts of responses regardless, so it's kind of expected to happen. But I guess we're going from the perspective of the dude who posted the expected response. He's like, oh, whoops, it didn't didn't go over as well as I planned. So all right, I I got mm, you know it was just it was all a joke, definitely a joke. I'm. I'm back. I'm abandoning ship. If I delete it, I look guilty. I just have to, I can back out with a follow up that just, I was trolling. Duh, it's trolling. What do you, what do you mean? I didn't want to be her friend. Why would I want to, why would I want to be her friend? Are you sure about that? Hey, looking to get you face hat on. Excuse me. I don't even know who this is. It's blank from work. I know you're with blank, but it can be our little secret. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to decline. This is a pretty inappropriate thing to send a coworker. I know, lol. I meant to send that to my amazing boyfriend, not you, lol. Don't, don't contact me ever again. Please don't report me to HR. Please don't report me to HR. Please don't report me to HR. I totally didn't mean to send that to you, even though I specifically mentioned your relationship status in the previous text message, but also definitely didn't mean to, nope, didn't want to, that's not what I intended at all. Like, geez, the nerve that you thought I was actually interested, unbelievable. Gee willikers, I'm 15. You single, just asking. I am, want a date, just asking. I mean, just, just asking. Sorry, I really don't know that know you that well. Maybe if I knew you better, I would. Oh, that's what I meant. Do you want to like get to know each other and then and then date? If that's okay with you, I'm 20, but want to still get to know each other. Don't get mad though. Don't get mad. 20 years old. Damn. Ah, uh, is that okay? Sorry, sorry, buddy. I I can't. Okay, I'm I'm an idiot. Sorry, sorry for asking you out. Sorry, my brother took my phone. I'm 15. I'm I'm actually I'm serious though. Just my brother was interested, but now I'm five years younger and also I happen to be interested too. So I'm just asking, does this mean we can engage in casual demonetization now? Did you move out for a bit? You make it sound like you're back after leaving. I moved out in November, I think. Then Blank and I broke up, kind of lost my shorts. Hate when I lose my shorts. And now I'm sane again and at home. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, but glad you're okay now. Does this mean we can engage in casual demonetization now? Uh, what? No? Rolly eyes, middle finger. Uh, sorry, I've been drinking. But seriously, also, I just want to repose the question. I think that possibly the second time around, it might go better than, than that time. Um, because, yeah, who doesn't want some casual demonetization in their lives? Like, that's just, I, I can't possibly believe that you wouldn't. Me, the prime example of the species right here, that you wouldn't just um uh, but i was no i seriously though i was i was not being serious but also serious oh my my kid did it she showing her private parts too much y'all act like she the only one crazy part is y'all my 10 year old wrote this comment 
and you're letting your 10 year old listen to I'm a bad beach fork beach beach dude that's it's a very slick it's after it rains the beach can get quite slick um, you can also take a knife and put it through the sand at the beach uh, sometimes the bad beach though and you just like it just you just litter on it and it's dirty you're anonymous on the internet this is a YouTube comment I don't know why you feel compelled to like follow up with it's crazy that my 10 year old wrote it like no one even knew who you were to begin with it's not like they were calling you out on being a bad parent these are YouTube comments nobody knows who you are accidentally airdropping nudes to a stranger oh by the way I have three phones can't believe I've just accidentally airdropped my nudes to someone on the train instead of my other phone oh fucking wow dude oh shoot that's a bummer man I I hate it I, I oh man it happened that'll teach me with my three phones ha <laughs> why do you have three phones why do you need to exchange your nude photos of yourself between your three different phones do you have three different like relationships that you're isolating to different phones and you're ensuring that you have all the same pictures on each of the different phones so you can kind of dole them out well all right PSA, if a man cheats, put him in a diaper. Excuse me, wrong person, sorry. My ex cheated, that's, that's how I got him back. I mean, that I, I believe that could be the wrong person because that's a very bizarre conversation. Also, how did you get him back by putting him in a diaper? That's, uh, it's, honey, if you want me back, I'm going to need to publicly humiliate you. You're going to have to walk in front of me on a leash uh, through public just wearing a diaper on the bottom half. And that'll show that you really do definitely want me back. Uh, totally meant to kick the ball. De definitely, definitely meant to kick the ball. And and I just missed by like a, a few feet. That That's all. Oh God, that would probably, assuming they're wearing cleats, that would hurt quite significantly. That would take skin off your back. I, I thought it was going to be like the first kick and I was like, that's, that's a mistake. The ball was pretty close to the shin there. Mm, not, not the second one though. That was just a, I dislike you for getting in my way. So I'm going to just get you kick things. I just, if it's on the ground, you kick it. Duh. I see on ground. I kick. That is how I was trained. Whoop, whoop, wah, wah. I accidentally texted my wife with voice recognition while playing the trombone. Perfect. You should probably go, go to the grocery store shopping later. I don't think that your phone would interpret trombone notes that perfectly the same spelling every single time over and over. I think that you probably did that yourself. Slightly suspicious. Oh, you silly BuzzFeed ordering pole sperm by accident. Are you so goofy? Oops, we ordered a bowl semen sperm. I mean, they don't, they are separate thoughts. Oops could be the title of the series. So it could be Oops is the series. And then that's what they did in this one. I'm trying to give them the benefit of the doubt here. This sounds like a very specific thing. You have to really go through a lot of checks to order. I don't think it's just like, oh man, I misclicked on Amazon. I meant to order bull spam. I meant to order bull spam. It's a new type of variation of, of spam, limited edition flavor of spam. Just over four years on and this still makes me laugh. Hello, my name is Ibrahim and I'm from Afghanistan. I'm part of Demonetized and on June 1st, I'm gonna do something really big, bye. Sarah, we take these threats very seriously. Your IP address and details will be forwarded to security and the FBI. Oh God, I was kidding. I'm so sorry, I'm scared. No, I was joking and it, also it was my friend and not me. You should take her IP address and not mine. Just kidding. Please don't, I'm just a girl, please. I'm not even from Afghanistan. Some things you just even even somewhat anonymously, but you put your face and your name and your Twitter by and you should not do that. You should those are things you just shouldn't do. I know that anonymity is allows you to put out a lot of things on the Internet, but there's a threshold where you're just nope, don't be an idiot. What a tragedy.
I tried to dye my hair blonde, but this happened. Oh no, I have prom next week. Dude, I just hate it when I accidentally get a box of, of blonde dye, but then there just happens to be a bunch of like oil. And then I pull, pour it over my head and then it's like, I just have a patch of oil slick in my head. Unbelievable. And then it just, oh my God, it just so evenly kind of just went on the tips of my hair, dude. That oil slick just really, really went to the right place down there. Oh, unbelievable. I can't believe I have prom next week. Oh, oops. This was one of the most useless shorts. I hate useless shorts. I agree. I've ever read. Wasted my time. Thanks for spamming the subreddit because you can't sleep. Go do something more useful. Idiots everywhere nowadays. Shaking my head. Sorry, I didn't mean to. Just wanted to share what was amusing to me to people too. Hey, I just checked your profile by chance and saw that you're a girl by your picture. Also, I saw you play games like Overwatch and League of Legends, etc. Being a gamer girl is real cool. Oh man, dude. Sorry for being rude. I didn't know you were a girl though. Oh, do you mind being friends? I really adore girls who game. Maybe we could play some of the games together sometime. I messaged you. I hope for a reply. Okay, it's cool. You looked at the person's profile. That's fine. That's not that's not even all that crazy. But then you're like, oh, you know what? Despite the insult that I just threw out there in the first comment, it's definitely not too late to pull a pivot and also just straight up outright say the reason why I'm pivoting is because you're a girl and gamer girl. Oh my God. Whew. That's, I'm uncomfortable. Oh my God. I hate when my friend gets on my Tinder after people don't compliment me like I wanted them to. I'm pretty sure that bio was a little different the first time I read it. Psh, what? No. Other bio was better, to be honest. I don't want to seem too desperate that people were blowing your inbox up with that shorts. Nah, guess I'm just not cute enough. Yeah, true. That could be it. Blank fork you, you cat looking booty. Oh my God, my friend sent that. Oh, she thought you were being a little bit rude. I will forking choke slam your booty through the announcer's table. Oh my God, my dog said that. She can be overprotective sometimes. Also very intelligent. So you kind of have to woo my dog before you can get to me. Person in blue doesn't seem to be very interested. This all seemed doomed from the beginning, if I'm being honest. So I'm just gonna accidentally leave this parade I didn't know about. Walked outside after work and inadvertently found myself leading a gay pride parade. Why does your work require you to wear a rainbow cape? Can you provide us with a little bit of backstory? Well, you see, I'm just, I'm a graphic designer and I have a spectrum of color rainbow above my monitor so that I can reference like, you know, Pantone colors on my monitor versus how it actually turns out on print. And then I was going to do a little bit of work on the way home. And uh, I figured I'd take it with me so I can get a good reference. But then I, my hands were full with my laptop and my coffee. So I put it around my neck and then it just so happened I was leaving at the same time that, that I ended up right at the front of the parade. Life is interesting sometimes, you know, dude? I also hate when my friends are idiots. Hey, do you ever go by Kate? Yeah, sometimes. Well, then it looks like I located quite a cutie. Oh, nice pun. I bet it's never been used before. The fork you just say to me? Locate a goddamn dictionary and try again. Like, like your name, like Kate lo located. I got it. That was just my friend. Oh boy. Tinder, Tinder puns. I've been on the Tinder subreddit a few times cause it's actually kind of great. And uh, seems like puns are quite regularly used to the extent where I imagine that that being a sample is probably, it probably ends up being used like too often as an opener to where it gets tiring. It probably works depending upon the execution and also just how you look. That response though, it's just like immediate red flag. Okay, just, you know, puns might be overused, but it's like, you don't have to get violent about it. Like, whoa. Anyway, that was it. Uh, I totally didn't mean to end up here, but it looks like we just accidentally recorded a video. Wow, unbelievable how these things work. I wish I could happen for all my videos, make things so much easier. Well, I, I hope you've enjoyed 
make sure to, I mean, maybe you'd accidentally just hit the like button. It just, I might, your my, your mouse might just get bumped and then you hit left click and you just, oh man, you like the video. It's crazy. Same with subscribe or listening to, um, you know, the music playing in the background over on the Mary Music channel, which is linked to the outro. Okay, I'll see you next time.